Looks like things are actually coming together. Yeah, after all of our planning, the needy families will be here tomorrow. They even set up some entertainment for the kids. Congrats, Prez. Yeah, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for Drew. Yeah, I'm glad I voted for you. Don't tell Claire, okay? <laughs> How could we? She's not even here. Some vice president. All right, we're gonna have a meeting in the foyer in about five minutes. Sound good, guys? Wow. My son organizing a dinner for underprivileged families. Don't act so surprised, Mom. I'm not. Just proud. <laughs> Too bad Bianca's not back yet to see you in your element, Mr. President. She'll be back tonight, just in time for the feast tomorrow. Good. Well, you tell her I want every detail about university. Yes, ma'am. I wish B was home already so she could see this. Dude, she is home. I saw her with some people at the dot. Well, then I need to see her Dude, right now. Dude, you called a meeting. You can't ditch right before it starts. So what do I do? Act cool. I mean, after all, you are the president. Hello, I've been honking for like 10 minutes. Remember, helping families in need? I'm not going. So what, you're gonna spend the rest of your afternoon in this cave of sadness? Afternoon? Try lifetime. Eli hooked up with someone, Ellie. It was once. One time. No, there's no coming back from that. It's over. You and Eli haven't spoken for like a week. You don't know for sure that it's over. He was with another girl. How do I trust him again? Enough stewing. Crockpot <laughs> off. Just drink your coffee and put on your brave face because you're talking to Eli. What? No. You're either breaking up with him or you're not. But decide right now. I'm not sure. Because you can't make an informed decision without knowing all your facts. Now sip, sip. All right. We'll talk to Eli. Winston, you're on cutlery and place settings. Dallas, your decorations. Jenna and Connor, you are tables and chairs. And um, you guys are dating, right? Yeah, that's correct. Okay, hypothetical question. If Connor was away all year and he came back for Thanksgiving and he didn't call you, what would that mean? Are we really doing this right here, right now? Uh, well, Connor and I have a strong relationship, so if he didn't call, I would trust him. But I would call. But if you didn't, it wouldn't suggest anything. Except I no longer want to be involved romantically. What? Sounds like a classic turkey dump to me. I'm sorry, a turkey what? Dump. When your girlfriend goes away to university, comes back for Thanksgiving and dumps your ass, turkey dump. <laughs> That's a thing. All right, meeting's over. Everyone go. Dude, I've never been dumped before. Don't worry, you're not going to get dumped. Go talk to B. We've got a lot of work for the feast tomorrow, and I can't have you melting down on me. OK. Thanks, dude. Potatoes, good. Cranberry sauce, yum. And the turkey. Gobble, gobble. Uh-oh. The guests are starting to arrive, and they are hungry. What's wrong? Is the turkey not ready? You could say that. <laughs> OK, so this scene is funny, um, but isn't it a little juvenile? Well, that's the point, because I booked us to perform at the family feast. Isn't that exciting? Performance anxiety? No, I promised Maya we'd spend all day together tomorrow. So, invite her. She's under house arrest, remember? Plus, I kind of lied to her about hanging out with you. She still hates me for calling her the S-word all over the internet? Duh. And I can't lie to her, it's killing me. If she finds out I'm cheating on her with you... Time to pick a side, Tristy. True. You're back. Well, why, why didn't you call me? Raquel offered me a ride home, but my phone was dead. I was going to call you as soon as we got here, but I knew you were busy with the feast. Slow never... down. None of that matters. I'm, I'm just happy to see you. So this is the fiance. Nice to meet you, Drew. You too. Pull up a chair. So. 
So, tell us, what was Bianca like in high school? Has she changed? I hope not. <laughs> Knock, knock. Who dares knock in my doorstep? <laughs> Impressive, no? I've got tomorrow all planned out. We're gonna watch every Ryan Gosling movie in reverse order, all the way back to the choices Epps of Breaker High. Maya, I have to cancel. What? No, I'll be all alone. Miles is gone for Thanksgiving and Katie's in California. I need this. The comedy troupe got invited to perform at the family feast. We're putting on a show. So you can just come back after. It's not just that. Um, there's somebody else on the team. Zoe. My number one most hated person in all of life right now? She's not that bad. <sighs> I'll skip the feast if that's what you want. And you can say no to Rygos. <laughs> I just I hate the thought of you out there having fun with that witch. You have my blessing. Aww, you're the best badass blonde friend a boy could ask for. <laughs> <Let's talk. laughs> I got down on one knee and I said, Bianca, will you open a joint bank account with me? You didn't. He did. Uh, we've got to go. Pleasure meeting you, Drew. You too. Bye, guys. I got it. Hey, you should come back to the school. Everyone would love to see you. I still have to drop off my bags at home. Please? Everyone thought you were going to break up with me. What's wrong? I didn't want to ruin your Thanksgiving. You do want to break up with me. Someone else? No, of course not. All right, then we can fix this. <laughs> We're engaged. We're supposed to be getting married. What I told my friends at school, they thought that was crazy. Who cares what they think? You've known them for like two months. I know, but they get me, Drew. Better than I do. We've been through so much together. I don't feel like that girl anymore. I've changed. I, and I haven't? University has opened my mind to so much opportunity. There's so much I want to see and do. Drew? Have a good Thanksgiving. Answer the question. Full name is Lenore Mantino. Do you have feelings for her? Do you love her? No, absolutely not. Did you sleep with her? Claire, no, I would never do that to you know that. But clothes came off. How is this helping? I need to know. Some, yeah. I feel like I can't believe you. Okay, but it meant nothing. <gasps> so you keep saying. Come on, there's gotta be something I can do. Tell me that it never happened. I know my secret. I screwed up my magazine deal. My one best chance to get into Columbia. Looks like you and Lenora will have New York all to yourselves next year. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm supposed to be helping out with the family feast. Trouble? Uh, she's, she's got a lot of people to see. Yeah, my man has to catch up on all that paperwork after skipping out on his feast duties. You're supposed to be leading by example. Wasn't I just saying this morning how much you've changed? When Bianca shows up tomorrow, she'll see it too. Right. What are you doing? Giving Bianca the opportunity to see the new me. No, man, bad idea, real bad. Yeah. Stop it, stop. No, dude, dude just I, hang just up right now. Shh, shh, hey, hey, B. I need you to come to the family feast tomorrow and pretend like we're still together. For my mom. She 
You lost a son. Don't, don't let her lose a daughter. So can you just pretend like we're, like we're still engaged? Just for a day. I think the sun might be shining just a little more bright. I think the stars might be... This is so great. I'm proud of you, Drew. I couldn't have done it without you. I mean, you're the reason I'm president in the first place. Yeah, we're all so proud of him. He just always makes the right decisions. Oh, there's my mom. Hi. Bianca! <laughs> oh, it's so good to see you two together again. I agree more. more. <laughs> black bug bit a big black bear. A big black bug bit a big black bear. A big black bear. Can I help you, chicken? Turkey, obvi. Maya, what are you doing here? Oh, flat down, quick. I can't believe the big day is finally here. <laughs> I'm so glad we're doing this together. Is that Winston in the suit? Uh, no, it's not. You guys didn't recast, did you? No. Um, this is just some kid. He's lost. Bye. You and Zoe seem tight. Can you stop thinking about Zoe for one second? We need to find you a hiding spot before we run into Simpson. Okay, first, take this. Uh, no, I can't eat before I perform nerves. It's to throw at Zoe during the show. That could sabotage my performance. Oh, come on, it'll be hilarious. The kids will love it. You and Zoe deserve each other. You both care more about revenge than you do about being my friend. Tristan, she ruined my life, and because I'm not at school, it feels like everyone's on her side. Yeah, and I wonder why. On your own turkey. You know what I'm thankful for, Connor? You. Mm -hmm. Me too. Jenna, Connor, look us home for the weekend. The bride and groom together. That's us. Or at least we will be soon. We should go back to her. Yeah, it was uh, nice seeing you. I love you so much. What are you doing? I'm trying to kiss my fiance. We're not together anymore. Because well, you thought I hadn't changed, but now that you see, I have. True. And plus, all day you've been acting like you're still in love with me. Exactly, acting. Just like you asked me to. Tears of joy. I figured. You get turkey dump too. No. I mean, I don't think so. Wait, did you and Bianca break up? She doesn't think I've changed. Well, at least she didn't make out with somebody in her dorm like Eli did. I wouldn't be surprised if Bianca's got her next relationship lined up too. So they both got their next relationships lined up. Future so bright for Eli and Bianca. I love her so much. I, th I thought she was happy. Do you, do you want me to beat up Eli? <laughs> no. Crush him. <laughs> Maybe it's just because I'm not good enough for him anymore. Dare say that. You're the best, Claire. <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, my God. The guests are starting to arrive. What's wrong? Is the turkey undercooked? You could say that. Well, just put it back in the oven for a few more minutes. I'll stall. Okay, bestie. Whatever you say. Oh! 
Gobble, gobble. Get in the oven. Gobble, gobble. Gobble, gobble. I don't think we'll be having turkey tonight. <laughs> That's okay. We'll have pie instead. <laughs> right, you need to hear me out. What are you doing here? I screwed up the best thing that ever happened to me. Can't leave without trying to fix it. These are our emails. It's the story of us. Can't let this be the final chapter. You can only tell. We already did that. When I first saw you, I thought that girl was trouble. I better stay away. That was so bad. <laughs> You're still bad. I don't, don't want to let you go. You deserve to be happy, and if, and if, if I don't make you happy, then, then we've got to let each other go. I'm only a phone call away. You're the first guy I ever loved, Drew. You've always got me. Till the world explodes. This was amazing. Thank you so much. Time to head back to my place? And not quite yet. You didn't tell me she'd be here. What is going on? Enough. Okay, I know Maya's the one in the costume, but as far as I'm concerned, you're both turkeys. All you two care about is beating each other. My Matt, you're my BFF always and forever. You know that. How that pie taste? But now that I've given you your revenge, I need a truce because I want to be friends with both of you. I still don't like you. I don't like you either. What the hell? It's the holidays. Truce. See, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Besides, you both love the same thing. Me. <laughs> <laughs> Then everybody's starving. We're gonna eat. Saying bye to Bianca. Oh, where's she headed? Out of my life. We, we broke up. Before we start, I'd like to say a few words about the reason we're all here. My pal, Drew Torres. You are a damn good president. And this Thanksgiving, I'm thankful for you. Here, here. Yeah. It's 
tour has been tough. Knocked down a few times, but we were able to pick ourselves back up. Now all we need to do is stick together. Just together. Together we're unstoppable, aren't we? To us.